Hey everyone, after reviewing Cucks, 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 something like that, um, QUCS and QUCS Studio, I decided I'd go ahead and use QUCS Studio um, 2.5.7 first. Um, looks like in regards to features, there's more features. And in particular, earlier today I was looking at um, the PCB layout, uh, the conversion of um, schematics into a PCB. I wound up just kind of giving up and used Express PCB because uh, Express PCB seemed very easy and intuitive to use. There really wasn't much for the um, help or tutorial file, so it was a very easy, very quick read to comprehend what I needed to do to get what I wanted done and not waste uh, the whole day, you know, or a few hours even um, learning something I'm not going to use. Reading really simply and quick through Quick Studio, found the download page, you know, pretty much right there, and downloaded this um, zip file. Basically all I did was unzip the file, copy and paste it into my location I wanted, and then clicked on the Cook Stew folder, the bin folder, and then uh, the cooks.exe file, and uh, basically had this appear. Uh, technically I made a little shortcut on the desktop, so a little easier access for future use. So I opened it up and, um, you know, I probably could have read the help or read into a little more. I did my quick file, edit, positioning, insert, projects, tools, simulation, and that was about it. And said, oh, hey, what is this? Filter synthesis. And literally that quick. And um, uh, LC ladder, I'm thinking. Chebyshev, filter class, low pass, order. I tried doing 16, and I got this error here so even order to be shoved can't be realized with passive filters so I'm not really technically aware of the details so it's something uh, you out on YouTube can read into and I will maybe read into one of these days at the moment um, I'm itching to get a filter made so and also going through the software application so I get a really brief general overview of designing um, whatever I want to design. Um, so back to this uh, Cook's filter synthesis. I uh, selected the order 15. So it's similar to what I had previously worked on last. And I'm thinking I'm going to actually do. But I wanted to see what this, this application looks like in the meantime and make a video while I'm at it. Corner frequency, uh, 300 gigahertz is too high. So let's just do megahertz. And um, passband ripple. This is actually set to 1 dB, so I switched it to 0, 0, 0, 0001. Uh, impedance, 50. So now I'll calculate, put in a clipboard. So minimize, click on this area, and just go Control V. And there you go. Paste the uh, filter. Click on. Um, the escape button and then I'm gonna zoom out. It's this right here, yeah. Zoom out and get my values. And the only thing I see different, the 16th order is gonna have the inductor right there. Um, I guess I can pull up the values for the 16th to compare, but they're not really the same, so I'm not going to. And that was about it. I was like, wow. And then I'm like, okay, cool. This has this S perimeter simulation already there, some equation variables so double click on and uh, so you start at 30 I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do one and then 300 I think that's right am I thinking right no I want to do like one Hertz and the points per decade interestingly just auto updates I guess something to do with the equation we go apply what's going on in properties SP1 Dense. No, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Neither simulate, press F2 key, or click on the simulate gear. 
So save this. And just go to right over. Yeah, there we close. And here we go. Oh, this actually shows a netlist. This makes netlist very easy to access. Interesting. 